Um, how many of you watch a movie and listen carefully to the music in the background? The background music in this movie is called the score. Composer, a composer watches the film and writes the music based on what's going on. Sometimes this takes weeks, even months. And now that we know a little bit about film scores and how they're made, we're going to talk about the history of music in movies. The idea for original movie music was introduced in the 1930s. Charlie Chaplin himself wrote some of his own music for his film, according to his biography on charliechaplin.com. The ability to add sound sparked a desire to add music in the films. There was a movement where, dis where directors disregarded music, however, it didn't last long due to people's desire for music in their films. And now we're going to talk about what makes a film score. There are about four main parts, um, how there can be more, but there are four main parts to a film score. And one of them is the opening theme. The opening theme um, consists of several different parts of <coughs> several different parts of the film score, um, so similar to the overture in classical music, where it has it, it's a compila compilation of several different parts of the film score. Um, mood music is played to add mood um, to really represent the mood of the music how a character is feeling at that time. Dramatic music adds a dramatic effect. If there's something action going on, then exciting music is going to be playing. Um, and finally, character themes. Sometimes character themes appear in music, and sometimes they do not. Um, an example of this is Darth Vader in the Star Wars films with the Imperial March. Um, most people associate the Imperial March with Darth Vader, therefore it's his character theme. Mm -hmm. At least one, if not all of these, make up a typical film score. We're going to find out what movies are like without their films. Oh, I love them. Without their scores. Um, what I have here is a link to Jaws. <laughs> most of you are familiar with it. It was composed by, the score was composed by John Williams. And... I'm going to skip ahead. This is it without music. I am not dramatic music. Basically, that's um, how a film affects, how music affects a film score, um, how music affects a film. Um, as you can see, without the music, Jaws was anticlimactic and almost boring. So I hope you listen more carefully to the background music in the film because a lot of hard work goes into it and it affects you more than you think. <laughs> 